Oregon is coming off of a loss to Washington, man. Former Indiana Huser quarterback Michael <laughs> Penix coming through with the upset victory. And I, I it just he just looked amazed, bro, in, in that game. And I'll tell you why I feel like he just looked amazed in that game. It's because, you know, this is a guy his first year on that team. And it looked like he just commanded the respect of the whole team. He was getting on his players, hyping them up, talking to them, like showing real leadership on that team. And I believe that that's what what drove them past Oregon. And and this is why I kind of feel like USC is going to probably take that L to UCLA is because it's because you you come off of these uh, the, these high games, right? You you just had a blowout win. You think you king ish or whatever, and you might decide take it a little slow. And, and we know, you know, these kids' mentalities, man. You know, they just like, hey, this might be a cakewalk and everything. But I mean, Utah is known for having a defense, right? Um, right. We 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 seen Bo Nix not mm. not being the most consistent, right? I, right? I think Utah is known for this. You got my guy Clark Phillips over there on Utah. Um, they got a good running game over there, and I believe what Utah is going to do is keep the ball out of Oregon's hands. So Oregon's not going to have many chances to score. Their defense is going to have to also keep them in this game. Uh, this might be a low-scoring game um, in this one, but I'm going to pick Utah to pull it off, man. Oregon, you know, they, they were riding. They just figured, hey, we got to win this, win out, and now they're realizing their season is crushed. Their season mm. is over. How do you bounce back from this? Some of them guys might say, hey, man, I might just be shutting it down. We ain't got no chance. I might just shut it down and get ready for the NFL, you know? So, I mean, because that some of them guys are going to be thinking about that or getting their affairs in order. So, Yeah, uh, man, uh, shout out Michael Penix Jr. Like you said, had 408 yards against Oregon. Just came out there and outdid Bo Nix. Bo Nix had about 200 yards and a, 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 a few rushing yards. He couldn't have his way with those guys. 37, 34 final. But man, in this um, this Oregon game, man, I, I'm I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna go with Oregon, man. I feel like they bounced back this week. I feel like um, Utah has been a great team. They play some great games. They they have the better defense on paper. They definitely have the better defense. But I just like that it factor that Bo Nix has. He comes out with swagger. Ever since that Georgia loss, the guy was – he was riding a wave, man. And, um, I'm going to go with Bo Nix and his ability to just get in the end zone, man. I think mm. these guys – and it won't be an easy game. Like you said, I can see the games. Them scoring in, in, around twenty points a piece, but hey, I got if I got to bet my money, I'm gonna bet my money on Bo Nix coming through and bouncing back after that terrible loss, take, taking him out the playoffs. He's a vet though, you know, so I I don't feel like he's gonna be the one that folds. I feel like he's the one. He'll be one of the ones still fighting for a chance, and maybe he's trying to get his draft stock up, or maybe he's trying to look better because the guy has something about him, even though his. NFL intangibles are kind of questionable when you're looking for an NFL quarterback, but the guy has something about him that yeah. just makes them win games. And I just want to see if he'll bounce back against Utah, which is a great defense. And I, I might have to correct myself because I don't, I don't want people thinking that I'm saying like Bo Nix was a bad quarterback or the reason. Right, right. Like he, he, he did have like a, a good game, like uh, throwing wise, but it was just, Talking about Bo Nix for, you know, the Heisman and things like that when he needed to have that Heisman moment, when he needed to show that he could separate himself from others, he didn't do that, you know? So right, absolutely. That's just my, that, that that was just my thing on that, man. And they also had a different game plan in that game against Washington for some reason, man. They had, they ran the ball for um, 50 times. Two guys right. had over 20 carries. Even Bo Nix carries the ball 10 times. So they kind of came out with a different game plan that week. And, and it kind of didn't work. 